one of the key challenges that teachers brought to the table was, oh, no, this needs um, a whole variety of different methods, field work, outdoor methods, etc. So what we started to do was to look at expanding subject pedagogy for ESD around the question, how can ESD be activated in conventional subject teaching? And it's not about a whole lot of new methods. So the teachers pointed out that they teach a subject topic to clarify concepts and to model ways of engaging this. And Anne Edwards agrees with this. And then they would task, set up a whole lot of tasks to engage the learners in the concepts and critical thinking and systems thinking, etc. And then they would assess. And what Edwards points out to us is that it's possible to expand this around agency that the learners take up the knowledge and work with it more. And that is good teaching. So using her four quadrant sequence, what um, Svart points out is that in curriculum settings, we have both the acquisition of knowledge and learning through participation. And what we found is that knowledge acquisition and participation were um, a critical part of an ESD process around a matter of concern that would produce leading questions, etc. So acquiring subject knowledge in story sharing dialogue um, was one of the key starting points that we used into inquiry to deepen knowledge so that the students started to participate and take up the ideas and then into deliberate review, analysis and critical thinking and finally, into using the knowledge and taking individual and collective handprint actions. So in the work that we had done with UNESCO, we used the um, five T's of action learning and found that this was very useful to teachers because in the transition from um, the um, startup story into the inquiry, there ask the question, well, what were the students able to touch, talk and think about so that the learners took up more agency? And then how did they talk and think together once they had acquired knowledge and they started to learn in more participatory ways? And then how did this lead them to rethink and contemplate taking action to resolve concerns? And then once they'd done this, how did they reflect so what we had is the emergence of a very simple and very flexible model, thanks to Anne Edwards' work with the Vygotsky and task sequencing, around a tuning in process, a finding out process, a working things out together process, and an action taking process that, that gave the teachers using the handprint way a lot of flexibility in their planning of their lessons. And through the work that they did, we started to look at how activating ESD in curriculum settings does not mean learning new methods. It's rather about expanding good teaching to include more learner-led inquiry and positive change challenges in response to social justice and sustainability concerns. So the handprint way um, enabled teachers to not be daunted by, oh, I need to learn a whole lot of new methods to deploy in the curriculum, but to see that good teaching can be expanded into ESD as a curriculum activated process. And here are some of the references that I refer to in this uh, presentation.